My name is Alana Barraza. I play second base. My major is marketing and management, and I graduate this upcoming May. My favorite thing about it is it tells us where the pitch is thrown in the strike zone, and I think that's really helped me in games kind of like further understand the zone better, and I think that helps with my swing decisions as well. So with Alana here, it's been really cool to see her from where we started two years ago, and you know, two falls ago, to where we are now. And you know, with her, the type of hitter she is, is, is she's gonna hit line drives in big part of the park gaps, right? And so so we can look at her average velocity, and you know, we've jumped up four or five points, which has been really good, but her max distance has increased a lot. And so, which we saw last year with her, you know, in the home run category, you know, she, she hit a lot more home runs than she has in her career. Um, and so it was really neat to see that. But, you know, but she's also not that hitter that I would say, hey, we, your, your launch angle needs to be this, this, and this. Like, I, I want you to, you know, stay line drive. I want you to hit some things like that. Were balls going to go out? Absolutely. If you get it right, it will definitely go out. And so it was just been kind of neat to see this in the comparison. Like her max velocity two years ago was in the 70s. Now she's 80s, right? And so to be able to see that piece now, love that. Because, again, we're still hitting the ball hard. A ground ball at 80 miles an hour, that's that's strong. That's going to be that's going to be tough to uh, to field. And so again, that's why I always kind of go back to like, listen, I want us I want us to chase this exit velocity. I want us to hit things hard, and we can. And so our max distance has gone up and does some things. Last fall, I really wanted to get on the leaderboard because I knew someone of my size isn't always up on the leaderboard. But I just wanted to to do my best. And when our numbers were at 80 miles per hour and 260 feet, I was up there. But it's getting it's getting higher up. But it's, it's still a fun competition to see how close I can get. I definitely think there is a correlation between my increase in exit velo and working on my posture with hit tracks biomechanics. My shoulders and my hips move during my swing and kind of like how that posture affects the pitcher that I'm gonna face. So if I have a rise ball pitcher, I don't wanna be like too bent over forward with my shoulders and I don't want my hips to go too far back because then I kind of shorten myself, make it harder to get to that rise ball. But same thing like for a drop ball pitcher, I don't want my shoulders to have to overcompensate if my posture isn't all the way there. So it kind of just helped me figure out like what I should be feeling when I'm facing certain pitchers. One of my goals for the year is to have a 300 batting average, which I have, I got so close last year. Like last year was actually a personal best for all of my hitting numbers and I owe that all to the coaches. But definitely like that's what I'm looking forward to the most is just getting my batting average to above 300. And I think that's gonna be like the perfect way for me to end my career.